Hello everyone, this is Andres Restart, and this time we are talking about a strange Nintendo leak that seems to have been proven true, and it would be thanks to the opening of the Nintendo Museum. What's going on? Well, that's what we're talking about today. But before going forward, let me ask that if you do enjoy my content, to please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So last night I was doing a bit of a balancing act. I've been trying to finish The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, in part so I can make some theory videos on it, but also I don't want to rush through the game because I'm trying to enjoy the game as I would normally, naturally, organically. So I've had a bit of a tug of war for this one, but I am getting very close. I think I have just like a dungeon and a half left. So I'm getting there. But since I haven't finished Echoes of Wisdom yet, I'm not quite ready to start making a few theory videos on it, so I was thinking, okay, well, I need to find something else that's interesting to talk about. And there's a few things that have been going on. There's something Metroid-related that I may be speaking on very soon, but I also noticed something from Nash Weedle. Now, for those who are unfamiliar, Nash Weedle has a fairly long history of talking about Nintendo, and they have provided different leaks over time. Some of those leaks have not proven true, but others have. More recently, in the lead up to the June Direct, it was talked about how there would be some type of surprising Mario & Luigi announcement for this fiscal year. And then we got the announcement for Mario & Luigi Brothership. And so when that happened, I thought, hmm, maybe Nashville does have better sources than some people think. And so there have been different things that have come up occasionally that Nashville talks about that make me think, oh, maybe there's something to that idea. For example, recently they talked about how there's going to be a Pikmin spinoff for the next fiscal year. So that's still a little bit off, but I am keeping my eyes peeled on some sort of spinoff Pikmin announcement to happen soon. And there was an interesting leak they presented back in July. Leak Express. Virtual Boy games aren't lost in limbo. Some of the console's best games are being adapted to be played comfortably in 2D, and it seems that they will also keep the 3D version. It is not known if they will arrive as a compilation or for the NSO service. So essentially here, Nashville is talking about how we're going to see Virtual Boy emulated in the modern era. And recently, Nashville shared out what he was discussing here, and he says, here's a translation. Miyamoto comments on an interview with IGN Japan about the Nintendo Museum and Virtual Boy. We are using Switch to emulate it. We will see it soon on NSO? Question mark. And then he provides the interview link. And so we're going to get to that interview. But here Nashville is saying that his leak has been confirmed because we have confirmation that Nintendo is using the Switch to emulate Virtual Boy games from the Nintendo Museum, and this part is true. But let's look at what was actually said for better context here. So in this IGN Japan interview, they were interviewing Shigeru Miyamoto by Esra Kurabe. They're interviewing Mr. Miyamoto here. There's a lot of really interesting questions. It's a really interesting, juicy interview. So I, yeah, I recommend checking it out. It will be linked in the description below, but the one thing I want to focus on is this question here. So here it says, or it's asked, is there anything in particular you would like to see from the exhibits? Originally, we were planning to only display the products, but we realized that the visitors would like to see a little bit of the behind the scenes development process. So we have some controllers and prototype game consoles. These are exhibits that you will never see anywhere else. In the future, we are also preparing a space to display art materials such as pixel art, course layout diagrams, and illustrations from the latest games such as The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And then continuing on here, we also have the Virtual Boy on display, which is a hardware that is not often seen in public eye. We are using a switch to emulate the Virtual Boy, so if you look closely you can see 3D images from back then. So just straight up, there are some very interesting things that are being discussed here. There are very interesting things that are being presented in the museum. We have old Nintendo prototypes, and there's different things that the public has never seen. Which just gets me excited, because I definitely want to go to the museum very soon. And here, they're even talking about how they might present even more materials down the road 
about different games in development, such as Tears of the Kingdom or games that have finished, I'm talking more about that stuff. So I love hearing all about all of this. It's extremely interesting. But in terms of this strange leak about Virtual Boy, yes, we do have confirmation that they are using the Switch to emulate the Virtual Boy. And so you could make the argument that, yeah, what Nash Weedle was talking about has been proven true. Going back to the original statement, the original statement was, Virtual games aren't lost in limbo. Some of the console's best games are being adapted to be played comfortably in 2D, and it seems they will also keep the 3D version. It is not known if they will arrive as a compilation or for the NSO service. So something to be said here is that they're not telling us with 100% certainty, oh yeah, this is going to come to NSO down the road. A lot of us want to make that mental leap, and I think it makes sense. But when looking at this interview, there's nothing here that necessarily indicates that this is coming to NSO. It's something at the Nintendo Museum. But let me mention Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Because this compilation of three Mario games, that is something that came out, right? We can play it. But it's using an emulator to run these games. Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, they are being emulated. And so we could have looked at that and, been, and thought, huh. If they're emulating Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy, could they have just a straight up GameCube emulator and Nintendo Wii emulator to run more GameCube and Wii games on Nintendo Switch? And I guess theoretically, yes, but up to this point, nothing like that has been announced. Now that doesn't mean they aren't saving this emulation technology and prepping it for say Switch 2 or just a later announcement, still possibly even for Switch 1. But it hasn't happened yet, and that collection came out back in 2020. We're in 2024. It's been four years. But then I guess the question that's worth asking here, when they talk about how some of these things won't be made available outside of the museum, are they also referring to the Virtual Boy? And I do think there is some room for interpretation there. And perhaps you can simply look at it from the perspective of convenience. If they already have an emulation set up to run Virtual Boy games in a presentable manner, then that's a game catalog that is at least somewhat readily available that can be used for compelling content down the road, be it for NSO or for something else. So I do think there's room for optimism here that we can see Virtual Boy be made available outside of the Nintendo Museum for Nintendo fans to play on a modern piece of hardware. And I'll even say, people have seen that there is actual Virtual Boy merchandise at the Nintendo Museum. So, that's interesting. There is a significant amount of merchandise here for just Virtual Boy. Now, the Nintendo Museum is about celebrating the history of Nintendo, so I don't want to look so deep into this and say that this 100% means that they are trying to have this big mass marketing campaign for Virtual Boy. No, but I do think it's interesting that they do have this merchandising, and I don't think it's a complete and utter stretch to say that, yeah, maybe there is room for optimism here, that Virtual Boy could come to NSO someday. But with this information, it does seem to support the sourcing that Nash Beetle seems to have on some of his leaks. It's another one that seems to have been proven true. And it definitely has a curious about others. Like there's this one where he talked about how there could be some level of enhanced backwards compatibility. And this was discussed before others, but others have mentioned this possibility as well. Could we see something like that on Switch 2? Well, they haven't revealed the console yet, but I guess we'll find out relatively soon, maybe? But what do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. This is Andres Restart. Thank you so much for listening and watching, and I'll see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.